All right, what is up guys? Tuesday vlog. Just wanted to show you my new Caddx Vista build. It is a Rotor Riot CL1. Let's take it down to the table real quick uh, and take a closer look at it. All right guys, so we'll just take a quick look at the CL1 build with the Caddx Vista. So I'm not going to take it all the way apart because my cherry antenna is zip tied to the top plate. So newbie drone, 20 by 20 stack, uh, M3 mounting. Vista is just taped on like my other build. Crossfire nano receiver up front there under the camera. You can see that's the cap that comes included with the 2020 infinity stack and then like on my hyper low i added a 25 volt 330 uf to the pads on the vista and again um, when i wired this up i took the top section top board off just just be careful when you take it apart um use you know something small and skinny to kind of pry it off because there's a row of pins on this side so don't just like rip it apart so yeah but if you take it off it's way easier to get to the pads underneath soldered up the wires put it back together and then it is just running off the nine volt rail on the infinity stack then we've got these Pretty sweet looking hype train vanny motors. They're listed at 1860 KV, but he told me they were actually a little bit higher, so figure they're uh, about 1900 KV. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys this. These are the Brain 3D micro cam mounts for DJI, and I like these a lot better than the mounts that came with the HD1 because they. They actually get the camera out a little bit farther so you don't have as much as the frame in view. Works out pretty nicely. All right, I'll slap this back together and uh, let's go back up top. So yeah, that's the build, um, pretty straightforward. So I kind of came up with this idea when I was down in Orlando with the Rotorite guys. You know, I wanted to try Vanover's motors, but I didn't really have anything to put them on. So I asked Drew if I could take a CL1 for the motors and then I knew that I think I already had the 2020 stack from Newbie Drone or maybe it was on the way. So I figured I would use that stack in the frame. And you know, at this point, this was like mid-January, so the Vistas hadn't even shipped, but I was like, I'm going to stick a Vista in this thing and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> but it's, it's funny when... Um, when we got the frames, cause, cause Vanover wanted to do a new build too. And so one day after filming, we were back at Drew's house and Sean stopped by, cause Sean stopped at the warehouse, grabbed some frames, grabbed some motors, came back to Drew's house, handed the box to Alex and Alex was like, oh, Conrad, I've got some parts for you. So he whips out the frames and he's like, he's like, what the hell? They're both CL1s. He's like, are you gonna build an analog quad? I was like, no, I'm going to stick a Caddx Vista in it. And he got like super pissed. <laughs> well, not really. But um, so, yeah, that's kind of where the idea came from. And, and really, it's just like, for me, it's just about like demonstrating just like the progression of the last six months. Because if you look at the HD1, this is like Gen 1 DJI HD with a bigger air unit. Um, so the frame had to be bigger. But with the Caddx Vista... <laughs> Now we're, you know, now we're putting them in typical analog frames that we've been flying for years, really. So all together, this quad with the, the lipos that I picked, and I'm running um, these Pyro Drone 1100s, 100 and, 175 grams for a 6L. So with these lipos, the CL1 ends up being about 40 grams lighter than my HD1 at about 675 grams for, for this quad. 
I don't I, I didn't weigh the motors so I don't know if it could be lighter or what but so I've been kind of tuning it this morning get my rates dialed in I did have my my wife do my video check first thing this morning after she dropped my uh, my kids off at school uh, again that's just something I do just to make sure that my Vista my air unit is getting stable voltage right with uh, the line of sight acro and it was checked out great you know I'm running two caps off of a nine volt rail well not two caps on the rail but um, I'm running off the nine volt rail there's a cap on the ESC there's a cap on the Vista so there's like a whole bunch of like redundancy to make sure the Vista is getting stable power and it's not gonna freeze up on me if I crash or whatever um, so yeah that all checked out so yeah pretty happy with the build let's uh it's a pretty nice day here in Boise today let's go find a park and see how she flies all right what is up guys so we made it to the park this is a um, municipal park in downtown Boise not a lot of people around because it's the middle of the day so the kids are in school got some gear got the CL1 jumper T16 DJI goggles yeah let's uh let's burn a couple of packs and see what she can do so that uh, that first flight was pretty interesting. Um, smacked the ground pretty hard, uh, flying, I think I was flying backwards. But anyway, the point is, um, smacked the ground pretty hard, uh, didn't crash, but the, the video didn't freeze, so that's good. Um, so that, that means my power to the Vista is, is pretty solid. Okay, let's fly some more. <laughs> Right, guys so that was the uh, rotor riot CL1 um, she flies good she flies like she's lighter than my HD one Vandy motors are really smooth they're they're a little weird for me because I'm not used to 2207s so if, you know if you don't 
if you're not familiar with trying a bunch of different motors, 2207s have a lot of top end power and not much bottom end. So it took me a few packs to kind of get used to the uh, throttle response. Um, but once I did, it was, it was pretty smooth. It recovers well from dives. Um, yeah, she flies good. As far as the Vista with the stock antenna, I was just flying on 200 milliwatt, uh, temp control off, focus mode on. Um, Vista worked great. We'll have to uh, we'll have to see how it compares to the stock air unit. You know we've already tested multipath, but we'll have to um, see how it compares outdoors and like you know um, with penetration and trees and stuff. But anyway, that'll be for a, a later video. So yeah, guys, that was the uh, CL1 with the Cadex. Vista and that's the Tuesday vlog oh gotta give a shout out um, shout out to Rotorite for the frame and the motors and then newbie drone for the stack for the 20 by 20 infinity stack it's working great and they actually sent out the Vista from their shipment so um, really really appreciate that thanks for that guys and then for brain 3d um, he sent the GoPro mount and then again these HD micro cam mounts. Let's see if you guys can see that. I'm loving those things. I'm I'm flying in 16 by 9, which I don't normally do, but I figured I might as well try it just to get more of the frame out of the field of view. And uh, it's it's working well. You know, for freestyle, it's not as much of a deal. It's not as big of a deal to lose some horizontal. So yeah, it's working well. I'm uh I'm happy with the build for sure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.